in the mid late sixties when we did the monkeys, there's a guy called David Bowie came out. His name was Davy Jones. They changed his name because I already had the name. I say this without any reservation whatsoever. I could quite have easily been Davy Bowie. I could have been and done what he did with with all that kind of material he used, with all that kind of presentation, with the makeup and the because it's theatre. David Bowie doesn't sing very well at all. He just had good presentation and all the stuff that was he was doing was new and innovative just as the monkeys was. So this was good enough for me. I mean, I'm asked to get up in karaoke bars, you know, and I get up there and, and yeah, I've sung Daydream Believer because it pleases the 12 or 15 people that are there. Why shouldn't I? I sing it better than anybody else. I'll give them the best. Let them hear the one that did it first, you know, and it, it doesn't matter if there's 10 people or 10,000 people. My performance is the same. I put it right out there, you know, like everything, you know. We're very lucky because we've got newscasters and radio stations and people all around this country that grew up with the, with the monkeys, you know, and it's a country that embraces entertainers and talent, unlike England and some other places. They always want you to prove yourself over and over again. Once you've touched the hearts of the Americans, it stays with them. And I get so much out of having been Davy from the monkeys, even now to this day. In a way, we have a great responsibility, but I do believe, not to get too far out here right now, that this opportunity that I've been given to be this celebrity um, that people know is only the first stage of my life because I'm going to be afforded the opportunity to help and care for people that I haven't even met yet. I just feel there's something else that's waiting for me there. Being shorter than most, I decided I should... Um, take up uh, horse racing. I went to the stables, became an apprentice jockey. This is really the reason uh, I've done all the other stuff, is so that I can get back to this. So that was the plan. It's just taken 40 years. <laughs> but we're back now, and we're starting to put it all together. And uh, hopefully Saratoga in August. You know, I told you about the horse racing earlier and how I'd won a race a couple of years ago. Do you know that I rehearsed for that for about four months? I worked out, I ran every day. Every day I ran, I came out of that gate knowing full well my horse comes out 30 lengths behind. He walks out the gate, looks around, and then he goes. You know, I'm a back runner too. We always come from behind, but eventually we get there, you know, and he, do, he, he does the same thing. So I love animals, you know. Hey, don't you pull your tongue out of me. He's heard this before, that's why he's yawning. Yeah. <laughs>